The grand jury decision in Ferguson led to unrest, even here in Chicago. Protesters hit the streets of the Loop last night and again this morning. CBS 2 Susanna Song joins us live now. She's at City Hall. Susanna. Hey, good morning, Roseanne and Harry. There were a few peaceful marches across the city this morning, but right now at this very hour, there is a sit-in here at City Hall. On the fifth floor, there is a group of protesters who plan to stay put for the next 28 hours because they say every 28 hours, a black person in the U.S. is killed by a police officer. Staging their own deaths, members of the Black Youth Project 100 also demonstrated a die-in, the red on their shirts symbolizing blood. The group says their call for action goes beyond the Ferguson grand jury decision. Like so many of the other protesters marching in the city this morning, they stand united to decriminalize black youth. I got the sense that protesters are looking at big picture issues today, the systemic problem of poverty and racism. When asked about the violent response in Ferguson, one protester said it was justifiable. Black people have the right to be angry. That is righteous anger. Every single person who was out on that street, who was a part of an organized resistance, was there to protect each other. We will never shame black people for taking action. Our lives are in danger. The moment of our conception, and nothing about that is fair or just. I have no interest in decrying the police as racist, because I recognize that the individuals that compose the police force aren't racist. <laughs> it's not overt racism. <laughs> It's, 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 it's a structure and it's a system that, that disproportionately affects young black men and women. And back here at City Hall, the group says this act of civil disobedience is their duty. So over the next 28 hours, they will have what they call healing and community group circles. And they know full well that City Hall here closes at 5 p.m. and they are prepared to get arrested. Reporting live outside of City Hall, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Harry and Roseanne. Susanna, thank you.